Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. And if you find this video helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video. At the beginning of the lecture on L'Hopital's rule, we talked about that there were different indeterminate forms. We know that L'Hopital's rule only applies to indeterminate forms 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. What we're going to talk about next is if we get a different kind of indeterminate form, which is plus or minus infinity times zero or infinity minus infinity, some techniques that we might use to rewrite the expression algebraically in order to get it to be in a form where L'Hopital's rule applies. So let's take a look. So we have the limit as x approaches zero from the right of one over x minus one over e to the x minus one. The limit laws tell us that we can take the limit of a difference and change it into the difference of the limits. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to change this to limit as x goes to zero from the right of one over x minus the limit as x goes to zero from the right of one over e to the x minus one. And by the way, for functions that we know are continuous on their domains, unless you're getting infinity, you can just think of the limit from the right or left as just being the overall limit. But this one is going to go to infinity. 1 over x looks like this and this. So the limit coming in from the right is going to be positive infinity. And then with 1 over e to the x minus 1, the numerator is fixed, the denominator is going to 0. So we're going to get some kind of infinity. It does matter in this case if it's positive or negative infinity though, because if this is positive infinity and we have a minus, if this turned out to be negative infinity, infinity plus infinity is just infinity. We wouldn't need to mess with L'Hopital's rule. We know it's either going to positive or negative infinity because if you plug in zero, you get one over zero. So, but how do we know? if it's positive infinity or negative infinity. Think about, could we possibly get any negative values if we're plugging in values to the right of zero? No, why? Because if you plug in values to the right of zero, you have e to a power of, let's say, 0.1. We know that that's gonna be greater than e to a power of zero, and that's one, right? So any value to the right of zero is going to be, give us a value bigger than one. So this denominator will always be positive and that's important in this case. Okay, because that means that we have positive infinity minus positive infinity. Infinity minus infinity is an indeterminate form. Infinity plus infinity, not an indeterminate form. Now we're going to see if we can rewrite the expression to get it into a form where we can use L'Hopital's rule. Since we have two fractions, one method is to actually perform the subtraction. So we're going to get a common denominator. So the common denominator is just going to be x times e to the x minus 1. Okay, and then we're going to subtract and then we're gonna try plugging in the zero again. So if you plug zero in here, we're gonna get one minus one minus zero. So that's gonna be zero in the top. And then you're gonna have zero times zero in the denominator, so zero in the denominator. So it's an indeterminate form, but it's one for which L'Hopital's rule does apply. All right, now this is why we reviewed our derivatives. So What's the derivative of e to the x minus 1 minus x? Yep, it's just e to the x minus 1. But what's the derivative of x times e to the x minus 1? What do we have to do with the, the denominator? So this is going to be the limit. x goes to 0 from the right. e to the x minus 1 over. Yeah, we have to use a product rule. So we're going to have the first function and the second function. So we're going to have the first function, which is x, times the derivative of the second, which is e to the x, plus the second function, e to the x minus 1, times the derivative of the first, which is just 1. So that's going to give us x e to the x plus e to the x minus 1. Okay, now plugging in, we're going to have e to the 0 minus 1 is 0. 
And e to the zero minus one plus zero times one is also gonna be zero. So we have another indeterminate form, but luckily it is in a form that we can apply L'Hopital's rule still. Okay, so the derivative of the numerator is just gonna be e to the x, but for the denominator, we're gonna have to apply a product rule for the third term. So the third term, we have the first function is x and the second function is e to the x. So when we take the derivative, we're gonna have derivative of e to the x is e to the x. The negative one has a derivative of zero plus we have x, the first function times the derivative of the second, e to the x, plus the second function, e to the x times the derivative of the first, which is just one. So we're gonna get um, 2e to the x plus x e to the x. Or you could write it as e to the x times x plus two. So that brings us up to this point, although I didn't write it that way here. So at that point we can plug in and we're going to get one over one plus one plus zero. So that's going to be one half. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That will help other students to find the video.